So I've been sent a couple of these pictures and I've also been, you know, going through the Huddle blog for examples to inspire me for soccer windows. And Huddle had a lot of these kind of templates that I think were used purely as tech demos. I don't know if they were supposed to be actual functional windows or not, or if they were just supposed to be demonstrations of what was possible with the sports code toolkit using its assets, like all of this right here, for example, this picture are the sports code toolkit assets, like these um, hexagon shapes and the background and the field here. But I decided to make all three of these windows anyway. So for example, I've made this window here, this window here, and this window here. Um, we'll open them up and see what they look like. Again, I don't know if these are supposed to be actual windows that work based purely on the picture because you don't get a lot of examples of what's supposed to be a button and what's supposed to be um, a label and whatnot. So I've done my best just to recreate them. So, you know, you've got your two team names here that change some of the colors. You've got on target, off target and block shots that go into the main um, code button throws and you know, for both sides, depending on what side you click is the color based on the team. And it's going to be a like instance in a new row, key pass and chance created, Atlanta position, Orlando position. And then all of these here are supposed to be personalized towards whatever team you're being an analyst for. So based, based on what I've seen here, all of these are basically strategic coaching points that whoever was coaching, I guess it's Juventus at the time, is wanting to um, install on their team. So for example, on the attack, they want their team to be focusing on quick counterattacks and central build-ups and wide build-ups and then on defense they want to be focusing on compact lines and shuffle across and whatnot so that's what these are you can change these purely by just you know double clicking on this and changing the custom uh the the name as well as changing the group name of these labels and how this works is you're supposed to you know go you know we're currently in a quick counter attack and then whether the outcome is positive or negative you click that you know that corresponding label so okay that was a positive quick counter attack you press that and you kind of get, you know, the one up there and that's a movie button that you can watch. Or on defense, same thing. You're like, okay, we're currently in wing defense. So you click wing defense. Okay, we failed with wing defense. You click negative and it shows it up there. You know, oh, they, we're getting tight now. Let's see how that goes. Oh, okay, we succeeded and we repelled their attack positive and stuff like that. So that's how that works. You click the, um, you click the thing that you're focusing on first, such as get tight, and then you click the label. To turn it off and it puts that in the timeline as a positive or negative and you get your little outcome button so that's the first one the second one is this one here so as you can see this looks familiar this is this one here and same with them um, so the thing with these ones like down here as well as over here this field you'll notice that i was missing from my last code window i was trying to think of what those are like you know what their purpose was and i think it's purely aesthetic like this actually has no purpose other than to tell you who's playing right now and to be honest if you're the analyst of the team you should know who's playing anyway so that's purely aesthetic so i just didn't include it on this window however i have included it in this window um just you know just so you can see who's playing at any one time um you've got your you no know, you've got your attack left attack right and this is by this is you know by going attack right and again by the outcome you put success or fail so success attack center fail um you know attack left again success success fail and it will change the color depending on how you're doing so orange or yellow is okay green is good red is bad then chance creation is you know success failed cross and through so you press the label and that activates the instance here um, same with the result, you put shot on, goal, shot off, and no shot. And these two things here change these two things. So whether the, um, the shot was good or bad will change the penalty error percentage. And whether the chance creation thing is good, that will change the center outside. So for example, success and failed are going to be the main things that change the center outside. So success goes up, failed it goes down. Result here, you know, no shot is bad, goal is good. And down here it's you know again you click the instance first then the outcome instance first and then the outcome so that's the second one and then the last one is this window back here and again i don't know if it's supposed to be an actual window or just supposed to be something that's supposed to be a tech demo to show you how things in the sports code toolkit look but i've made it again anyway the only things i've changed are i've added red and green um colors to these depending on the outcome so if you score a goal for example here it's 
going to show up green. Internal shots shot and goal. Whoever's in the lead will go green. Whoever's losing will go red. Then these are all buttons here. And then depending on the third that you're in, these will change colors as well. So red, yellow, green, depending on what third the, ga uh, the ball is in at any one point. So those are my three windows. If you're interested in these three windows, there'll be links in the description to purchase all three individually or as a pack. Um, you know, they're not the best windows of all time soccer-wise, but they look good and they do work. They've got some sort of outcome or output there for stats as well, and they've all got movie functionality as well, but that can be removed if you've got Sports Code Pro if you want. Hope you, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you liked the video, and hopefully these windows can help you out. Thank you very much.